I'm about to steam bend uh, white oak planks to build a, a ribbed framework for a shave ice trailer that will also double as a tiny uh, mini uh, mobile home type of thing. Uh, we'll get into that later. But right now I want to explain this. A steam chamber, which consists of 8 inch uh, duct work from uh, Lowe's, a $1 pot from a thrift store, a rusty barrel bent around it as a heat shield, a big joist hanger to hold the pot, some wire to hold it down, and my $20 weed burner from Harbor Freight, which is attached to the propane tank, which is boiling the water in the pot and sending it down through this pipe. I also got a um, meat thermometer here to watch my temperature. You want it to stay at like 210, which is just, you know, steam. Uh, water boils at 212. So I've got these boards. They're actually longer than they need to be, which is fine. Um, because the ends that I'm not going to use are out here where they're not getting steamed. But there's uh, 10 or 11 feet or so in the chamber. And I've got this towel wedged in here to kind of trap the steam. If I had something shorter, I could put a little cap on it, but this works fine as well. Uh, you gotta go super fast with this stuff because as soon as it comes out of the steam chamber, it instantly starts cooling down and you've got like a minute maybe to work with it. Plus it's breezy outside, which is not good because I need to bend these outdoors. clamp in a good spot. <laughs> they say that you're supposed to steam it for like one hour for every inch of uh, board thickness and mine were in there longer than that which I don't know it's they some people say that the inside bend will start to ripple the fibers if it's over steamed and Maybe it weakens the wood too, I don't know. But this one seemed to work out okay. And after I get this clamp down, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done because I got another one sort of finished. This uh, arch form thing that I built is at uh, 180 degrees. And so um, it's the bend starts uh, perfectly um, vertically and then it comes up to 90 degrees. And when, when these pieces are done, I want the I want the upright piece to arch like this and come come to about 90 degrees when it's finished. But I've over bent these. So this is coming past 90 degrees an extra I don't know 10 15 degrees or something. So I want it to wind up here so I bent it to about here because when you take it out of the form you get something called spring back where just that natural tension on the wood, it's going to hold its shape but it's going to just pop back a little bit. So you you overdo it and then to compensate so that when it comes out it'll pop back and I'll go grab the other one that's done already. Um, you can see we have this nice curve in it. It started as a nice straight board so the steam bending definitely did the trick. Um, it sprang back a little more than I had thought that it would but that's okay because we'll have, we can just have a little bit more of a peak in our roof and if it's, if it's too bad I can probably pull it down when I'm in the building process and also I've got a lot of leftover um, length in this upright because I want the height to be about uh, seven and a half feet or so in, at the peak of the roof when we're done so I can just cut off this extra that we don't need and that's good for me to have uh, a little excess. <laughs> 